We have the ruckus here. We're gonna go for a little ride on it. And I got something to talk about. So let's get to it. Listen to that baby roar. All right, so let's put the question out there. Are automatic motorcycles real motorcycles? Yes, they are. I don't know why it is that people just hate on automatic motorcycles. As if they've done something to offend them. It's just another option. If you don't like automatic motorcycles, don't fucking buy one. That's it. <laughs> you know, it's not that hard. What has happened to the world today where it feels like we have to go stand up on whatever soapbox is available to express our opinion about things that don't even impact us? Like all these people have to go on social media or wherever and have their voice be heard that they don't like the color green. It's an opinion. Who cares? Just because there are automatic motorcycles out there, just because Honda's developing and evolving DCT, BMW has like their version of it coming out. The new Kawasaki Ninja Hybrid and the Z Hybrid, they don't have shifters. They don't have a clutch lever. I'm on a Honda Ruckus. No clutch lever, no manual shifting, nothing. What is it about society that makes everyone feel like they have to stand up and just preach about what they don't like? It's that type of attitude, that kind of gatekeeping mentality or the I'm better than you because I know how to shift that is hurting the motorcycle community. What makes people feel like they have to hate on something like automatic motorcycles. It's cool to be kind. Yes, it is. Like, why do, why can't people just be kind toward automatic motorcycles? Like, if you don't like it, you don't have, no one's forcing you to buy it. Right? I mean, what, what's the reason people hate on automatic motorcycles? One, they think, oh, people that can't shift shouldn't be riding motorcycles. Okay, well that's dumb because the motorcycling community, especially in the United States, we're not gaining a lot of followers, you know? So this mentality of like what a real motorcyclist is or whatever, yeah, that's not helpful, you know? So <laughs> it, it's, it's turning people away. I mean, maybe the people are thinking, Oh, well, by having an automatic, that's taking away the fun of motorcycling. Okay, if you think that the shifting and the manual transmission is like the fun of a motorcycle, then just continue to buy a manual transmission and shut the f*** up, you know? It's not that hard. You don't want an automatic, don't buy an automatic. The end. You know, I can still remember the day before everything was streaming and when something was on TV and you didn't want to watch it, you just changed the channel. You didn't ride into that station and complain about the show. You didn't go in the street corner petitioning something else to take that time block. No, you just changed the channel. And then there's this thing called the free market that can help determine that. In television, it was ratings. If nobody watched the show, the show didn't continue. So if nobody buys automatic motorcycles, companies will stop making them. Right? On the flip side of that, if people continue to buy automatic motorcycles, there will continue to be automatic motorcycles. And Honda is on what, 12 years plus? I know in 2012, they started regularly coming out with DCT models. But even like before that, they had a couple early iterations. 
like, why is there so much just hate towards it? Seriously, the free market will determine that. These people will comment who hate it so, and are like, man, nobody's going to buy that. Well, well guess what? P people, are, people are buying it. People are buying DCTs. You know, and they're, and they're still making them. And here's the thing. If they become so popular where people stop buying manual transmissions, the manufacturers are going to make automatic transmissions, you know, even more because the free market determines what people do. So, like, I'm not understanding, like, why people are complaining about it. I, I, what I think it is is some people are scared. And, and I don't mean to get political with this, but it's the same thing of, of that crowd that's like, Oh, they're going to take away our guns. So they do all this stuff because they want to drive this fear that they're going to take away. They're not taking away manual motorcycles. They're not. The only reason they would take away manual motorcycles is if nobody is buying them. So if you're an advocate for manual transmission motorcycles you think that they need to stay around because you don't like automatics that's fine just continue to buy manuals and if there's enough people that are still doing that they'll still make them an automatic motorcycle or a scooter is just another option it's another option for motorcyclists it brings down a barrier to entry as well and now that the technology is to a point where it's much more reliable and it's working much more efficiently, I mean, it's just like automatic transmissions in cars. People complain, well, you can't find a manual transmission car now or everybody should learn on a manual transmission. No, shut up. We don't have to. The technology is there. Like, why are people so technology averse? I understand that sometimes simple is better and I'll concede the argument like if there's too much technology it's it's more of something that can go wrong and you want to go back to basics okay yeah that's fine but as the technology evolves it becomes much more reliable it becomes much more efficient and that's what we're seeing today why do people like the, the people that say oh everybody needs to learn how to drive a manual transmission car why they're not out there that much anyway they don't need to i have still never driven attempted to learn anything on a manual transmission car ever and now if somebody presents the opportunity of it i'll be like sure i'll give it a shot but i'm not seeking it out because i don't need to most of the cars are automatic because it's such a standard technology again why are people so technology averse Maybe, uh, maybe motorcycles should go back to being steam-powered. How about that? You think that would be good? Because this, this gasoline technology is stupid. Yeah. We won't even go down the electric route. Let's just roll back that technology. Like, too, there's too much technology. Let's go back to steam-powered. Or better yet, this engine. This engine is doing way too much work for us. It's too much technology. Why don't you old fogies just go back to pedaling a bicycle? You know, get your cardio in, you know, gatekeeping sons of bitches. I understand that shifting for a lot of people is a big factor in motorcycling. It's that engagement with the engine that you're in control, you're nuancing the power, controlling the speed and everything like that. I get it. I understand why that's fun. But at the same time, that's not everything to every motorcyclist out there. It's not to me. If you said to me that there are only going to be automatic motorcycles ever in this world, I would be like, well, if that's what it is, fine. Because I enjoy motorcycling because I'm just out in the open air. I can feel the lean of the bike in the turns. That's the part that excites me the most about motorcycling and for you it may just be the shifting and if so that's great so like i said go buy a manual transmission and whatever your complaints are about automatics keep them to yourself i rode that nc750x dct 
up in the North Georgia mountains, up at uh, Two Wheels of Suches. Yeah, it was a little weird getting used to the DCT, but it did amazing. Like, it, I, I didn't feel like it was interfering w with me at all. I felt safe in the turns, and I could focus on the ride itself and the aspects that I enjoy most about motorcycling which is the open air, the turns, the just cruising and enjoying being on two wheels. You took that shifting aspect of it out of it for me and I was fine. So don't use the statement of, well, shifting is everything. If it is for you, that's great. Don't put your opinions on other people. If you don't like it, don't buy it. You don't like the show, change the channel. I don't know what it is about like people this day and age. I think it's just the internet. It's the anonymity of the internet that you can be behind a keyboard, you can be behind a phone, and you can say whatever you want to because there's just that instinct in humans or whatever to, to battle. Or there's also the narrative this day and age of like, well, stand up for what you believe in. That doesn't mean you go shout from the mountaintop about what your opinion is on everything. If there is injustice in the world, yes, speak up. If something needs to be changed for the good of other people, speak up. If there's another option of a consumer product out there that you're not a fan of, but other people are, shut your mouth, okay? Stop ruining it for other people. You know, stop being a cancer to this world by bringing others down and putting others down because they may like something that you don't. Like I said, motorcycling needs all the help that it can get. Anything that gets people on two wheels or out in this, you know, in different ways. When I started out in motorcycling, I kind of had that sense of entitlement like I was special. I was in an elite club. And honestly, I probably was like, I'm better than, like, better than other people. And, you know, if you weren't on a real motorcycle that I was better than you. You know, and I kind of jokingly like shake my head at the Can-Ams or whatever, uh, being just, you know, not, not really like hating on them, but like kind of just a tongue in cheek, like, ah, I'm better. But you know what? I, I, I'm gonna wave at them. I see somebody coming by on a scooter, they wave at me, I'm waving back. I don't care anymore about this sense of entitlement or motorcycling being like an elite club or something because it's just not it's not worth the negativity like I'm tired of the negativity within our own motorcycling community or the power sport community the, the one thing we also need to consider is what are people's limitations you look at any popular video on like a, a DCT from Honda and you look through the comments you'll find somebody somewhere who said this was a great option because uh, I mean I've seen it where there's war veterans who have lost the use or lost strength in their left hand to pull a clutch lever or even in their left foot and they would not be able to ride motorcycles unless it was for a DCT or they were on a scooter or something else like that so having those options it allows other people to be involved and, and yeah that's an extreme case but but why not why not embrace the options you can embrace the option without having to buy it or be forced to use it you can appreciate that there are other avenues that people can take to be involved in motorcycling maybe there's people who have stability issues that being on two wheels is not ideal but they can hop on a can-am or some other three-wheeled and they can participate in that they're out in the open you know they're taking some risk as well but they're being in the open air i can appreciate that where i draw the line polaris slingshot is not a motorcycle it's a car it has a steering wheel like it's a cool it's a cool machine I, I, I mean, yes, it is a cool machine, and when I see them, I'm like, it's pretty cool. Be fun to cruise around in that, but it's not a motorcycle. So you're, you, you've got a cool car. You're not a motorcyclist. Just so I just want to make that very clear. <sighs> so I know this wasn't a 
terribly cohesive <laughs> line of thought, but I guess that's what, what makes it a ramble and a rant, right? <laughs> so anyway, I think just the bottom line with this is, you know, whether it's automatic motorcycles or anything else in this world where there's something out there that you don't like but you know it's not negatively impacting you like don't bring others down like whether it's products lifestyle favorite color anything like that like who cares I don't know, just just be kind. Let people have their options. More options don't hurt. Let's just do what we can to embrace the differences we have and the different opinions we have and the different things that we like. There's enough negativity in the world. Let's try to make things positive. So, anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Um, thanks for letting me ramble and rant on the ruckus and if there's something else that i need to rant about you'll see another one of these videos <laughs> all right y'all we'll see y'all in the next one ride safe take care of each other later on like you gonna tell me that automatic motorcycles are not real motorcycles I'm waving at scooters now. Eat that, gatekeepers. <laughs>